Hi, so in this video we're going to look at our TVA exercise. So first up, I just wanted to explain that the TVAs are your support system for your spine. So they run all the way around here and their major function is to help with stability and support for your spine. So we need to strengthen these in order to help with our core and to ensure that when we do our exercises that we don't see that doming or any of the bulging that we talk about a lot. So there are a couple of ways uh, for different cues uh, to help engage with your TVAs. Um, I'm going to give you three of them. They're also in the resource area of this platform, so please go and print them out. The first one is the one that I use, which is called, we've called it the snake. So what I want you to do with that is you're going to make a really long exhale with a sound. And as your breath runs out, what you should feel is that your pelvic floor rises and the lower part of your abdomen um, starts to tense. So let's try that together. So. Right, and right at that last point, that's when I feel everything rise and tense in the lower part here. Now I want you to look at it from side on because what I want you to see is that there's absolutely no movement in my hips, so I'm not tilting up like this, and there's no movement in my back. So and again, and push down here because what you should feel as your TVA is engaged, you'll feel this tighten and a little bit of a pressure pushing out on your fingertips. So, and hiss. And when we're here, we want to inhale and exhale and then relax. So each time you do one of these TVA engagements, you're going to hold for about three to five seconds and you're going to repeat it 10 times. And then you're going to look to do that three sets of 10, three to four times a day, every day for three to four weeks. So the second set of cues that you could use is called the book. And you're going to think about your two um, hip bones here, and you're going to think about a line that's joining them and bringing them together like you're closing a book. So, Think of the line and bringing together. And again, you should feel that tension there when your pelvic floor rises and the lower part of your abdomen tenses. Don't let your ribs thrust or suck in your stomach. Okay, and the last one's like called close the bag. So what you're doing here is you're thinking of the line between your pubic bone and your tailbone and you're bringing those together whilst closing or drawing together your pelvic floor. So bringing those together and draw in. And again, you should be able to feel it here. And it's kind of like one of those straw, jawstring bags that you pull together as your pelvic floor lifts up. Okay, so now that you should be able to find which cue works best for you, let's go down onto the ground because I want to show you the three different ways you can do your TVA exercises. So the easiest is down on the ground, remembering to go down on your side and roll over. Hit, uh, legs hip width apart and let your thighs relax into your hips. Make sure you've got a neutral spine and your chin and your head is neutral there. And engage your TVAs. I do mine with that long breath. And hold. And relax. So lying down is going to be the easiest way to feel and engage your um, transverse abdominis. After you've managed to um, do this successfully and are able to um, cue those very easily then the next stage would be to do the sitting on a chair so let's just grab a chair and again sitting with good posture so feet flat on the ground legs at 90 degrees make sure you can feel in here for um, your TVAs for when they engage 
and cue your TVA engagement. Inhale and hold, and then relax with the exhale. And once you can do that and you mastered it while sitting down, the third stage would be to do it while standing up. So again, standing and cue. So I'm doing the long breath. Hold it here for a few seconds and relax. Okay, so just again, what you're going to be doing, especially for this first week, is three sets of 10, holding each engagement for three to five seconds, and you're going to do that working up to three to four times a day, every day for the first three weeks, and possibly longer. This is the most important part of um, helping with your diastasis recti. Okay, see you in the next video.